our driveway has a slope and I like snowboarding. So how about I try going down our driveway on a snowboard? I, I think it has enough of layer of snow that I shouldn't hit any rocks underneath. I'm pretty good snowboarder, but not that good. So for the cars, the driveway is pretty wide, but for snowboarding, I might feel it's too narrow to turn. Ooh, the sun came out. So we'll see how it goes. legit way to get to the bottom to the mailbox so that was quite fun i think i was imagining that it would go kind of slide down faster i was uh, afraid to get speed but uh, no actually i guess it's a good thing that <laughs> it's not steep enough for snowboarding it'll make it much easier for the cars to get up but yeah i just thought i would uh, try it out before we cleared the snow from the driveway which matt already has started doing for some sections yeah so you this morning I was out with a tractor and you can kind of see behind this area that I've cleared in front of the, the shipping container here. And you can get, really get a sense of how deep the snow is. I would guess in places, it's maybe even about a foot deep. You were having real problems, weren't you? Like getting up on top of the powder. Yeah, it's a lot it's of powder. so fluffy. It's so, so I mean, it's beautiful snow. Um, I guess to make this into a proper like ski slope, we'd need like a grooming machine and a chairlift and those things. Like you said, it's probably a good thing that this is better suited to driving up than snowboarding down. But it is still a great workout to try to walk up in snowboard boots up to the top. This section behind me here, that took me about an hour to clear with a tractor. It is my first time trying to clear snow with a tractor, so I am not the fastest at all. We've also only got the bucket and the bucket works. I mean, I've, I've cleared this and it did work, but it's not particularly fast going not least because you have to go and empty the bucket after every time you scoop some snow up. If you just try and push with a bucket, it just tends to like form like a, a barrier, like a big roadblock, and you just can't push through it anymore. We've also not yet got the chains on our tractor. So the person who's gonna help us with that, they're not available just yet. So we're hoping to get that done in the next day or two. What I found was that as long as I was going downhill with the tractor, I could get enough traction and enough kind of momentum, use the weight of the tractor to help. Pushing uphill was kind of a no-go. And that's with four-wheel drive. We've got the locking dip on the tractor that I didn't have to use while, while plowing downhill. That works fine. The reason that I've cleared this section here is because we want to get the sawmill out. So the sawmill we stored in this shipping container over winter to keep it out of the elements, to keep it safe. We want to pull that out because that's right at the back. So we can't start piling more stuff into the shipping container because it will block the sawmill in. So I've moved everything to the side. The tractor inside is hooked up to the sawmill. Uh, the, the, it's on a trailer and we are going to pull that out and put it just here. Last year we had the sawmill up at the top there near our, our log piles. We're not going to do that this time. The reason being that one of this year's projects, one of the first things for us to do is start clearing that area. We've got a ton of trees, about an acre of trees that we want to try and clear up there and we haven't got a lot of open flat ground to create log piles. And honestly, the fewer things around that we could hit with a tree, frankly, the better.
Is that door going to clear? Oh, stop! No, it's not. We don't get the trash pickup service uh, on our property, so we have to bring our trash to the dump station. Where we live in Vermont, we actually are required by law to separate recyclables, and food cannot go into trash. You either have to separate it, or ideally you compost it at home. So one of the first things we did, we got this uh, kitchen scraps trash can, and now I'm emptying for the first time into our compost bin. There are many different ways how you can compost, but we chose for now this round tumbler style bit.